Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. That all y'all, by the time I've heard about the passing of uh, Sister Khadija Rivera out of Tampa, Florida. And alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen uh, that I had the privilege of working with her not only once or twice, but a couple of times, three times uh, uh, to be exact. And uh, the first time that I that I had uh, the privilege of working with her was, uh, or, or, you know, getting to know her was on my way uh, when we took 21 American sisters between uh, Khalid Ahmed uh, from D.C. and uh, myself and Brother Saeed Al Dahari from uh, from the UAE. And we took uh, 21 American sisters to uh, go in and, and find out and, and, and research and learn and, and interchange uh, cultural ideas with, uh, with the women from the UAE. Uh, I gather from, from that uh, particular uh, uh, function that, you know, it, it was successful and that alhamdulillah, you know what I mean, that... Uh, that just all I did was just motivate Sister Khadija just a little bit more. The second time that I had the privilege of working with her was uh, on this Puerto Rico uh, uh, trip trying to bridge the gap between Puerto Rico and the United States. Because, uh, you know, if we Latinos from over here and Latinos from over there, we belong to the Ummat of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So anybody else say they want to go in their own direction, then, you know, I say go in that direction. Because, uh, you know, I'm following, you know, inshallah, what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us. And uh, that, w that exchange was... Uh, uh, it was it was nice, uh, and we, we were able to gather a lot of information in order for us to continue our work. The third time was in Mississippi, and Hamdulillah uh, Rabbil uh, Amin, they had the the uh, the a convention over there, and it was a crossroads in in the, of Islam in America. And that program was well represented with from the Latino community by Sister Khadija and myself. Then Flock, but not least, was the seventh annual Hispanic Muslim Day in Hudson City, New Jersey. Uh, it was uh, sponsored by the, the Islamic Education Center, which has a great in a big community of Latino Muslims that are doing things. That's very important for you to say, well, I'm Latino, I'm Muslim, but this is what I'm doing to make uh, things uh, easy on my brothers and sisters. But Alhamdulillah, we, you know, uh, by Allah's mercy, you know, because it's all by Allah's mercy, we, uh, we learn a little bit of something about Islam, but yet, you know, we uh, we want to walk around like with a badge on our shoulders, like you know, like we some grand muftis or whatever. Because all the work that I've done, in, as far as the Latino community in America, I can say that it's been very few sisters and no brothers that have uh, contributed to us trying to. To bridge that gap, I can you know always uh, 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 think about Sister Mata Galandari from from the West Coast, from uh, Lama, and I uh, may Allah you know bless her and her organization and her sisters, and increase her in knowledge. Then I had a, a work with the uh, with the Alma from uh, uh, from Atlanta, which is run by City uh, Carion. You know, another Muslim Puerto Rican sister. Now, a sister from the West Coast, she's Mexican. Alhamdulillah, Arabel. Then we have the, the Piedad uh, uh, organization out of Tampa and out of uh, 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 New Jersey. 
which, you know, alhamdulillah, I mean, they, they, these are two wonderful organizations that believe in doing, doing, doing. So that's why I jumped on the bandwagon, and because, you know, I'm a do and not a view. I don't want to sit around nobody uh, pat me on the back because I don't need nobody's pat on the back, you know, uh, or nobody's uh, support. You know, I try to get, you know, a little support in there to try to do things, but I do best with what I got. So alhamdulillah, I mean. So uh, alhamdulillah that uh, I had the privilege, the privilege of working with Sister Khadijah. I asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive her for her sins and to grant her, grant her paradise like I asked him to grant paradise to all of us. And may the question of the grave be easy for her. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon all her family and her loved ones. But inshallah, because of her passing doesn't mean that our, that our work has passed because she picked it up from somebody else. So now it's just up to somebody to pick up where she left off. And inshallah, we'll get it done. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.